Hello everyone, it's Jeannie from Makers Unify and today I'm going to show you how I created these Halloween apothecary bottles. These were a lot of fun to make and you really can't make a mistake with these as they're meant to look distressed and kind of dark for Halloween. I used a bunch of various bottles that I had around the house and I also found a bunch of unique looking ones um, at the Salvation Army which I'll show you in a little bit. I got my inspiration from fellow YouTuber Claire from Claire's Crafty Corner, which I'll link to her YouTube channel below. And this project will let you use all sorts of different craft supplies that you have on hand. And I did end up purchasing some things, um, well, because, you know, you can't leave a craft store empty-handed, so I bought some extra Halloween things. So make sure to subscribe and like this video. These are some of the other bottles that I have. Um, I didn't want to set them on the table because it's pretty windy out right now. I got this from Salvation Army. Uh, this is a salsa jar. This one's pretty cool. Uh, Salvation Army. I really like this one. This one's from Salvation Army too. I think I'll take the cap off and paint the rest of it black candlestick I had lying around from another hall. Whoops. Salvation Army. Another one. So these are all from Salvation Army. Um, these I'm thinking I'm going to spray, every, spray paint everything black. And this one I'm thinking it would be cool to have a candle in it and let it drip down. This one too. This one's pretty cool. It's pretty really long. So I've got my spray booth set up here with the chalk paint. I'm going to start spray painting. And then I have these down here, which I had uh, already painted white for another display. Um, so I'm going to paint those black also. And then maybe find a crow for the uh, bird cage. That would be pretty cool. So I'm going to start spray painting. So hopefully this will go okay. So I'm using a chalkboard spray paint, which is really nice because it dries very fast. So I went ahead and flipped these over so I get the bottoms and then I'll do a second coat. Here they are all dried and painted, or painted and dried, and I really like the differences uh, in the jars and the bottles, and I think it's gonna turn out really cool. All right, so I'm gathering a bunch of materials that I wanna use to decorate the apothecary bottles. Um, I printed off a bunch of different labels online. You can, you can look up um, like Halloween apothecary labels and you should find a bunch of them for free. There are some you can pay for on Etsy if you want better quality, but I think these should be fine. Some of them are a little, um, a little blurry, but for the most part they're pretty good. This one was thinking of maybe making a bigger sign for my display with. So there's a whole bunch that you can print off. Uh, some of them I think I'm going to have to make a little smaller. So there's some pretty cool ones in here. And I can distress them however I want. Um, so I got that. And then I bought a bunch of stuff at the Dollar Tree. They had some pretty good things there. Um, I got this from the Dollar Tree and the skeletons. I think I'm going to possibly take these apart. Um, what else did I get from Dollar Tree? 
Did I get the rings there? Yeah, I think I got the rings there and the skeletons. I got this. Uh, I want to do the hot glue gun uh, tracing thing with that and then spray paint that black. Um, and then I went to the Spirit Halloween store and I got these skeletons and these keys. I'm going to spray paint some of these black. Um, Joann's had a bunch of their Halloween stuff on sale, so I got these tapered candles and a tassel. Uh, some of this, what they're calling it, Halloween trim. Uh, some more Halloween trim to go possibly around um, the necks of the bottles or whatever I decide I want to do. I got some, like this is from the Dollar Store, I didn't know if Dollar Tree. Um, Maybe some, you know, put some on here somehow. I don't know yet. And then this I got, again, to trace out with the hot glue gun. Um, and I'll spray paint it black. Uh, the spider's web. So I'm not very talented with artistically. And then, um, of course, I'll need Mod Podge for the labels. And some, I have got gold and silver um, paint. Got this mirror at the uh, Dollar Tree. And then other stuff of my own, I got these pearls. I can keep as is or paint black, but it might be kind of cool the contrast. Uh, this is my good junk journal stuff. Um, magnets, like that. So I have some of this stuff that I've actually distressed. Some chains and other things, uh, gears. A, another key, possibly use some of that. Anyway, a chain and some clasps. Alright, I think I'm, I'm good to go. I'm using the spider web to help me outline with the hot glue gun so I can make a kind of like a decal that I can spray paint black and then I can adhere that, adhere that to the bottles. Um, and then again, I'm making an outline of the uh, skull to do the same thing. All right, let's see if this works. they turned out so I will spray paint them black and then I can put them on some of the bigger jars maybe with this one what else should I do that's fun I'm cutting off the back part to the uh, bat rings and the skull rings so that I can better adhere them to the bottles. It took a while, but I cut out all the labels that I wanted to use, and then I'm going to uh, go ahead and distress them with some um, distressing ink. And then I crumple them up to make them look a little bit more distressed. Some of them I ripped up a little, you know, ripped the corners a little bit and make them look old and creakly. Then you take your Mod Podge and put it on the back of the label and adhere it to the bottle. 
then I'll go over the top of the label with Mod Podge again, uh, just to make it settle in a little bit more, and then you can smooth it out with your fingers to get out any creases. So I'm not going to show you all the bottles I did. I, I will speed through this and show you a few of them that I did. Um, if you want any kind of instructions on any particular bottle that you see, just let me know and I'd be happy to uh, answer any questions in the comments. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun just to go through and pick out which ones I wanted with which bottles and kind of, you know, crinkle it up, make it look old and distressed and kind of haunted and um, it was just a nice, a nice process to use your creative abilities and um, do what, however you wanted to do it. There's really no mistakes when going through all this. After I put all the labels on, now it was time for the fun part, uh, decorating it with chains and ribbon, uh, some feathers, some bats and um, skulls. And then the uh, I put some of the tracings that I did with the hot glue gun on a few of them. I just glue those on again with the hot glue. Um, those are spray painted black. And yeah, you just have some fun with decorating them and um, that was probably the best part of the whole process was just have everything laid out in front of you and then you kind of look around and say oh this will go great with this bottle or this will go great with that one and if you don't like how it looks just take it off and start over and do something else with it put keys on it and ribbons and all sorts of different things you can do it uh, makes it a really fun process um, here I'm kind of um, trying to highlight like the hot glue gun stencils that I did, the outlines that I did. So I have gold paint and I'm going to go through a lot of the bottles and I put the gold paint on to try and bring out some of the um, highlights of the bottles, the different texture, you know, make it look more textured and uh, make it pop a little bit more. And you can also use some uh, twine like I did on this one, just hot glue it around the top. You can hot, you know, hot glue it on the bottom and different things that you can do. So it's a lot of fun. Just have everything out in front of you and um, enjoy the whole process. And here they are all displayed and ready for Halloween. I put some candles in some of them. I have some pillar candles out and then uh, lit some incense to get the smoky effect. And um, I have the crow and the on top of the birdcage there and the one tall pillar uh, candle holder I painted that black put a black candle on top of that and they turned out really great I'm really happy with uh, how it looks and if you have any questions let me know I'd be happy to help you try and figure out how you can decorate yours so thanks for watching and have a DIY day